Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone's. You just tuned in to Niecy's World. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, I'm going to try to make this really short, sweet, and brief. Okay? This is not a drama, a diss, or a beef video. I guess you can call it a reaction. I'm real for it. So, excuse me. I'm on my Dr. Pepper, so I might do that a couple of times. But with that being said, I want to let you guys know to my new fam who just got here. When I first came on YouTube, I came in with my brother's kid's mother. She is a YouTuber. And not only is she a YouTuber, I think she's a well-respected YouTuber at this point. However... With the flaws that she have, I was on her channel. Didn't know too much about the flaws at the time. I just knew her as a person. Well, she had beef with another YouTuber. But this YouTuber that she had the beef with, she turned me on to watch the channel. So, I have grown to like this girl. I felt like um, I was watching soap opera. So, I got my coffee every day just like her. And I watched her videos. Now, however, her and my brother's kid mother end up having a little spat. And she made a video about her. And she went on live. And I said how I felt about the video. Now, she was kind of disrespectful to my brother in the video. But I felt like she didn't have the place at the time because she was going through some ish. Okay? So, if you're going through some ish, how can you talk about my brother's kid mother as well as my brother i think she didn't have a room so i told her i feel about this situation was it the best decision no was it my business no was it my place at that time i felt that it was okay because everybody can get on here and they can do their reaction videos to people who put their life out there like i do mine okay and yes I'm all up in the reactions. People feel some type of way, especially about that one video. However, one lady that I'm addressing today, Miss Listen, I watch your video and I think I'm reacting to it at this point because I have something to say about it. Um, I was watching her video, okay? And at that point, everybody mad at me, and they feel like, you know what, she out of line. You know, it was some things that I didn't know. Let me say this. She said that my brother was disrespectful to women. I don't know him to be that. But I don't know his kid's mother as the YouTube person that everybody else see. I just know her as a person, okay? So I'm not seeing what everybody else see. Now, with that being said... After I get on and I do my whoop whoop and we not cool no more and dysfunctional, you got me effed up, you know. Yeah, I did that. The reason why I felt bad after was because I kept seeing it. This YouTuber, that channel I was on, she usually delete her lives after she do them. But when I was on her live that day and she was going off, I had her back. I had my brother back. If you're a sister, you know what I'm saying. So, like I said, was that the best decision? I don't think so. I should have checked her YouTube background before I had her back. I probably still would have did it, to be honest. Just because she called, the girl called my brother a bitch and said it seemed like he was not raised by a man, which he was. Shout out to Pops. Okay? Now, the lady, Miss Listen, I want to address what my problem was with you and yes like i said i accept the apology maybe it was a misunderstanding you know the part that i didn't get and that i didn't like you was not the only one that did a reaction video okay and some of my fam that is subscribed to me um that even react to what i had done which was one friend <laughs> it's like a lot of people didn't like me I came off some type of way I get it You was different than anybody else Because you was like You bitch 
where your mama, you know, you was coming for my mama, you was coming for my brother, you was coming for me, you know, that was the most harsh reaction video that I had saw. Like, my whole mama, you want to talk to my mama, where she at? You know, you said that at that time, shots was being fired. And I guess you and Olivia was at war. I said her name. Yeah, so y'all was at war. So, me riding for her, me riding for my brother, me watching this girl and seeing that she going through things. Yeah, I felt some type of way, okay? So, let's go ahead. Like I said, I want to tell you. How I feel about what you said. And for you guys that don't know, this is what she said. Wow. Okay. That's not her. Yeah, so while I'm going back to what she said, it, it kind of tripped me out, but I can respect it. You know. And I accept it. Um, now, seeing more of who you are as a woman and as a person, right. I can apologize. So I apologize, Nisi. Um, and I respect you for to this. To be honest, Nisi, I stand by what I say. Um, to be honest, Nisi, I felt that you were wrong. Like, I understand some of what you were saying. Yeah. Um, visually, or however you want to say, if a woman leaves, leaves her house. Okay. You said you apologize, but you stand by what you said. Are you apologizing for calling me out of the bitches? Or are you apologizing for pulling my mom in? Because if you stand by what you said, I don't think there is a reason to apologize. Because if you call me a bitch, a hoe... And whatever you called me, are you apologizing for that? I'm not getting the apology, but yet I accept it. It is apology. I apologize to Kiara after that video. For her marriage, she can't control what go on. But listen, typically in a marriage, whether the woman left or not, she come back and get that house. Because Nisi, you yourself, and I'm not trying to be disrespectful or hit you personally. You said you have been abused. Um, you have talked about abuse, but I believe it was your niece or your cousin. So to me, like, why would you feel that a strong woman accepts or does? To, I was lost. I was lost. Not because to me, a strong woman removes herself from any situation she feel is. She said that I've spoke on abuse and I've been abused. I have mentally, physically, and emotionally. I don't know what they have to do with the situation. I think a strong woman will remove herself from the situation. And that's what she did. And kudos to her for that. And her channel is still growing today. I apologize to that girl. You know? And it's funny because even though me and Liv was on that live, now Liv going through the same thing that that girl was going through. I'm not, but I'm a woman. I can feel it, you know? So, for anybody who have seen that, I don't think a woman should stay in an abusive relationship. But I didn't see that on my TV, okay? I don't think that you should put up with anything if that's not what you want to put up with. But I do feel like if you leave your house and you leave your marriage, just know that you did not marry a virgin. He is going to move on because when you left, you gave the notation that you were moving on, okay? So let's, let's just clarify that. That's how I feel. I feel that it's over. Whatever he do, 
You shouldn't be worried about it. Now, if you left to fix it, that's not what she gave. She gave that she was done. And if you're done, why are you worried about what he got going on? That was just me, you know, as a subby, you know. That being said, <clears throat> yeah, she had the videos where Gerard is being disrespectful to women who was coming for his love of his life at that time. Did I see that? No, I didn't. Do I agree with that? No, I don't. He was in defense. He did that. That was wrong. But at the same time, it was not my job to tell Kiara husband you shouldn't do that because of your kids. That was her job. See, it's my job to say, I don't want my son to do that. You understand? And not just because of the grandkids, because of the family. Now, her husband decided to go on there and roast her like an Oscar Mayer wiener. And though Gerard was being very disrespectful, that was something that he did not do to live. That is something that have not been done to me. And that is something that I'm making sure that my son don't do to anybody else. You understand that? So, am I saying that he was right? No, I'm not. I'm just saying that you can't talk about nobody, honey, when this is what you're going through. That's my thing. Okay? So, I hope we comprende if you understand what I'm saying. I never agreed to the disrespect. I'm just saying. Don't talk about nobody else shit. When you got your own shit. Because that was a whole nother ball game. Okay. Understand what I'm saying. So listening to you. And looking at you as the woman that you are. Because I think you got. You have a respectful. Intelligent young man. Do I see the, the gangster in him? I do. You know what Thank I'm saying? You. I do. But do I think he's respectful? Do I think that he is an outstanding young black male? Kudos, Nisi. Much respect to you Thank and you. your family. You understand what I'm saying? I um, do. That's just basically it. I'm not taking shots at you as a woman. Thank you. But my whole thing is you have now clarified. Um, I'm not going to use the word contradicted yourself because you said you had an agenda. You were mad. You I understand was. what I'm saying? Because you didn't like what she said about Gerard not being raised by a man. But listen, Nisi, you're a woman. And she called him a bitch. For a man to sit there verbally or come out on the internet and talk shit and disrespect a woman, to be back and forth with a woman, back and forth, to call them out their name, you know it's disrespectful as with. I'm sorry. Let, let me stop her right there. No disrespect. I get everything she's saying. I understand. I can't say she right or she wrong. But where I'm from, the whole Oak Cliff America, the whole Dallas, Texas, I don't give a fuck if my brother is right or wrong. I got his back. Sorry. I was raised like that. 
You know, maybe that's why you said you want my mama. It that wouldn't be pretty. She don't even watch YouTube. She trying to stay out of the light. My fam know that. So Gerard was wrong. So Gerard was wrong, and let's just say, for instance, all these women came to the store while we was at the store because they knew he was at the store. And he said some bad things, or he was disrespectful on YouTube about a woman. And we at the store, and all of these people come for him because he wrong. Am I going to turn my back on him and say, you know what? You was wrong. You shouldn't have deal with that. They all finna whoop your ass. No, ma'am. I just wasn't raised like that. So I didn't know. But even after the fact that I did know, I disagreed. But that's my brother. I'm going to ride for him, right or wrong. You understand, sweetheart? Okay. We, because you, we see as a black man, a man. They ain't about that. They ain't about it. If they're going to say something, they're going to say it in that. Come on, miss me. Miss me, and I'm not being disrespectful. Miss you. Okay. Nisi, to be it. honest in saying that, when I did my video, um, I was at war. <laughs> y'all, I'm silly. I'm telling y'all. And um, right now, I'm in the process of privating a lot of my videos because y'all listen, I'm still being... Um, they're not being striped no more. They're just being age restricted. And then I'm trying to get you know, because Nisi, let me tell you what you did to me that kind of pissed me off. Okay. You, because I was like, why is she? What the fuck? Like, what? I, I stand by what I say. Okay, uh, we gonna we gonna hear that. I'm at war. Okay, I'm at war right now. I didn't like your video. You called me bitches, hoes. You talked about my mama. You talked about my brother. You talked about Liv. I was in defense. You was coming for me. I'm in defense right now. I got people over here. People over there. Everybody, My fam know everybody coming for me right now. I got pictures in places they shouldn't be. I got people talking about my disabled son. I got people calling me things that I'm truly, clearly not. And it's upsetting. It's embarrassing. I don't like it. So that's a part of this video to clear who I am. And what I stand for. And my fam is always saying, Nisi, you don't have to say, babe, some things got to be known. Okay? So even though I'm at war with that same person you at war with, even though this people coming for me on this side of the internet, people coming for me on this side of the internet, then I got people that come around me that's actually in my face that I be friend, they coming for me too. And my kids. So I get people coming for you but that's not going to make me clown you that's not going to make me mad at the world because i actually have some people that have my back and ride for me and i'm sure you do too so let's just know i get people coming for you You do. Um, how you may have disrespected or um, hit someone's feelings or... Okay, I'm going to just use me for an example. Right. The reason I had to respond to this, and it's been so long, my nerves are dead. You I understand know. what I'm saying? Um, we just clearing it up. My anxiety is out of control. So if I don't bloop it out or let it out, listen. Listen. I'm explosive. I don't... I, I have... I'm explosive. Um... And I'm working on that. Listen, I've been a work in progress I'm working for years. On you know, baby. everybody want to act like, oh, and then let me ask y'all this question. No, never mind. We on Nisi. Mm. So, that was my point, Nisi. Okay. And I reached out to you when you came out. And I, I, I reached out to you. I did. You know, to let you know I'm glad you did this. But like I was saying, I was at war with your peoples. Point blank. You came in, you stood there, and y'all was kitty kitty, and those were your peoples. So I was at war with y'all. Listen, I was willing to take on the whole family. She and her subs, well, she had her minions, her subs, the web gang, constantly. They didn't stop. They don't stop. And a lot of people might not know about it because, like I said, this was way on. So a lot of people are new out here, new creators. But Olivia and them, listen, they were... 
And I'm not going to go as far as to what Kayla said. They no come from me to too. Kayla. I'm not going to say Olivia made the mommy Kayla don't have none of this. Because I don't watch a lot of Olivia, Chrissy, and Jazzy um, videos because there is another sector out there, a bigger sector um, of family channels. You understand? So, Nisi. I'm sorry how you feel about me. Um, it doesn't make me a difference, but as a woman, I have to apologize for certain things that I did that I can see you being like, let's, I, I can see where you threw a couple of them bees at. I right. can accept them, but a couple of them, no, I ain't accept them. That. You know, you were wrong. And you said you accepted, but you said I was wrong. That's your opinion. I can agree that I didn't like it after seeing it so much either. But for me to be a whole bitch, for you to say, where well, your mom, I need your mom. That was a lot. You don't even know me. Other people did reactions as well. They got ugly. I can go on the internet right now and pull up live life drama and I'm going to see me. I get a reminder of that. Okay. I just think woman to woman, you could have did that in a better way. Really? I'm not calling you a bitch. You said what you had to say. I said what I had to say. You touched it again. Now I'm rubbing it. You hear me? I accept the apology. You said you can't accept or you, you can accept some but not all. If you don't want to, you don't have to. And however you view me, honey, I'm fine with that. But it's either you do or you don't. Because if I apologize to you, which I have every right to at this point, to apologize to you for going off, but I don't feel that because I was defending myself. Okay? I'm sure you understand that as a woman. React. Say what you got to say. But bitch, hoe, your mop like, wow. You know, that's a lot. Like I said, when I looked at the video, I was like, damn, you know? So maybe when you looked at the video and was hearing the things that you were saying, and you were like, damn, like this is giving me a bad look. Because I really do think that video gave me a bad look. But listen, once again, I'm going to say, I was willing to go to war with all of y'all. Any of y'all that came out as her people. <laughs> y'all are silly. Anyway, before I end this, before I end this, did any of y'all see Francois' daughter up in that live? Um, listen, the only reason I'm speaking on it is because in the lives that her and Tasha Marie do, both of them sit there and discuss. Okay, let, let me say this. Let me let me rub on this too. Francois' daughter was in a live. And and okay, so basically what she was saying, Fran daughter was in a live. Friend has spoke on people doing lies with their kids right there. Okay, it happens. She said, um, you can say it's the first time, but in Jazzy world, she had a lock on the refrigerator and it was the first time. That's like bringing a knife to a gunfight. Francois' daughter did come on and she did kiss her mom and she did say, go to bed, mommy is busy. We mothers, it happened. How can you compare that to seeing a lady put a lock on the refrigerator? You know what? I'm sorry, dry skin is in the building. I am not against Jazzy, especially not Chrissy. No, 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 no. I'm not against neither of them. You was also saying some type of shit like, I'm sorry. You was also saying something about the fact that friend should defend her friend. From, from, from who? From me? She should defend her friend to me. My personal feelings with Tasha... Is my personal feelings for Tasha, okay? I don't dislike her. I just dislike things that she have said and done when it came down to me and Olivia. I feel at some point she was kind of being biased. I feel that she threw me under the bus, you know, for no reason. Yeah, I didn't like that. Um, I didn't get it. I didn't get why... When I came around, she was like, well, we working really hard and whoop-de-whoop. -whoop. And, you know, she, that's just dirty. She just dirty. 
it's still up there. I don't like that, okay? So it's like I'm being dirty. When you get how many views you're going to get from whatever you did or how many subscribers you're going to get, that's you. Nobody know what you're going to get. And who can be mad at that? So the way that Tasha put me out there, it was kind of like, I'm, I'm letting you know, okay? Friend don't have to defend Tasha for me because I was not talking bad about Tasha. I just said how I felt. Tasha was not there. Okay. Maybe I didn't feel comfortable with that. Maybe I don't know her like that. Maybe what I do know of her speaking of me made me feel uncomfortable or some type of way. So from what I got in the live, she didn't have no reason to be defensive. She didn't have no reason to be, you know, well, not Tasha, but I'm sure she will. Because whenever I asked about doing it and she asked me, well, she's a good person. She like, like she speak highly of Tasha. And I expect for it too. Because like Tasha said, we YouTube sisters for life. Why am I mad at that? If you like Olivia and you like me, I'm not mad. If you don't like me and you like her, I'm not mad. To each his own, but on some grown woman shit, they don't have nothing to do with me. And if I tell a friend I did not like whatever, that's what I was there for. To tell her what I liked, what I didn't like, and how I felt about what was going on. Now, to me, I felt some type of way, not angry, but some type of way about certain things. And those were addressed. If you did not get it, you're more than welcome. We, we can talk. Matter of fact, friend, if you want to. We can do a live on that. Even Tasha. We can do a live on that. Anything that I can get on here and say once, I can say again. And I kind of want to show you guys really quickly. Oh, yeah, we're 27 minutes in. My problem, you know, with how I feel about the Tasha-ish, you know. And I'm really trying to be nice because I'm saying ish. Because you know how your girl is, honey. She don't be giving no damn. Yeah, I kind of like... Here we go. I think it's right here. This is the problem I had. Came out with a video telling the truth, okay, of the reason why she left Olivia's sister back her Olivia's videos up with several videos of her own. Um, in the video, Olivia's video, we're going to talk about Olivia's video first, okay? So in Olivia's video, and y'all, this is just my opinion. I got to excuse me because I just discovered I have, uh, when I was washing my face this morning, that I have a zit coming. Okay, anyway. Um, in Olivia's video, you guys, she basically told the reason why she left. Um, said there was some abuse, um allegations or not allegations she actually confirmed that he was cheating okay she's telling how she feel about what happened with Liv the abuse I don't know nothing about you know what I'm saying still my brother still gonna ride for him that wasn't my problem with Tasha that's her side she said this is how I feel about it that's how she felt okay miss listen so, that was the approach. This is what pissed me off. And people's feelings get hurt. People become angry. Is it okay to hit someone, man or woman? Absolutely not. I feel like if, if you guys have a disagreement, it should be uh, handled by talking it out. If it can't be handled that way, then people need to move around. It's never okay to put your hands on somebody. With that being said, that's not what pissed me off. Wrong point. That was me saying, hey, Miss Lady over there, you actually do have reactors that's trying to give you um, constructive criticism. That's what I got out of that. So, wrong one. I think it's this one. I just got her side. Well, I will say this. Just based off of listening to the sister, it sounds me. like his, his, they're his sister or sisters intervene in their relationship. If that's not Never. true, then 
the sister wouldn't be on her own video, Nisi, telling Gerard's business and Olivia's business. I get that she's trying to defend her family's name, but everything else, like Olivia only said initially in her only. live that Gerard's family was dysfunctional. Like she didn't go into detail. She never mm -hmm. went into detail. She went in detail today when she put that video out because Nisi went into detail in her video. So that I guess that was Olivia's way of clapping back, okay? Okay. Um, I feel like Gerard should be the one addressing Olivia. Why? Why? You said Nisi went into detail. First of all, let's know. Nisi came on talking about Robin's hair. I didn't talk about they sex. I didn't talk about abuse. I didn't talk about arguments. I was talking about Robin's hair. So, she got a channel talking about them. You sound just like her. See, I don't have a channel talking about them. I had a channel that I started based upon anger and letting it be known what was going on. And a lot of people didn't even believe that then. They were saying she didn't do that. She didn't cut that girl's hair. She didn't do that. Yeah. So it's like my problem that I have with Tasha is I feel that she stay in defense mechanism with Olivia. Okay. And I don't know why she do it because I can play right now where Tasha is saying she this, she that, she this. And then I can go back and play Olivia saying that lady with them glasses, she this, she this, she that. So then I remember when they merged in and she said, oh, I understand. You're moving. I get it. Now, all of a sudden, anybody who says something to Olivia, automatically wrong. You were saying it first. She was saying it first. Okay? So, nobody have to defend Tasha. Especially from me. Because I just don't like what she said. You know, I disagreed. I didn't make a channel for that. I made a channel because I wanted to be heard. If I'm wrong for the, I'm in a business because I disagree. No. Go through my videos and look and see which videos where I'm telling all a business. One thing you will see is me saying, I've done this for my brother. I've done that for my brother. I've done why why am I doing it? Why am I defending myself for my brother? Because he wanted me to take those videos down, Miss Listen. Okay? So, I have a reason to be, you know, shit coming from everywhere. Which I'm not going to fall too far off of the subject. But I just want to let it be known that I have a reason to feel the way I feel. Like you guys have a reason to feel the way that you feel. Oh, wow. <laughs> Where they come from? He should be addressing her via phone. Trying, maybe uh, the sisters feel like Gerard is not uh, is not doing enough. Um, but here's the thing: that is Gerard and Olivia's relationship. I'm pretty sure Gerard is not intervening in Nisi and her husband's relationship. Um, well, at least I can say Gerard doesn't have a channel talking about Nisi and her husband. Okay, so I think you know she keeps making reference to the fact that Olivia. Okay, short story time. Let me tell you this. Me and my husband had an argument. I got upset. I got in my car and I drove off. I got to the gas station, which was like five minutes away. By the time I got to the gas station after slamming the door, I opened up the door. My husband was standing right there. We was in an argument. I said, what's up? What? Move. He said, where are you going? Right after he said that, Gerard came right behind my husband. He said, what's up? What's what's going on? He said, no, what's up with you? Gerard took off his thingy. And my husband said, what's up, Gerard? You seem like you want to fight. You know what, what you mad? He said, no, nah, I'm not mad. He said, well, are you trying to fight? He said, no, nah, I don't want to fight. I just don't want you to do nothing to hurt my sister. He said, this is my wife. I'm not going to hurt her. I just want to see where she going. He said, but the way you was talking to her and the way I was going about things, I just want to make sure it's no problem. Oh, yeah. And he have not just done that for me. We have other sisters as well. 
we all go through things in a relationship. So for you to say that he don't get in my business, I don't get in his. Okay? But when you got somebody on a worldwide media doing this for somebody who not defending themselves, of course, somebody is going to finally get irritated and say, stop. So, like I said, this is not about beef. This is not about drama. Honey, you said what you said. It's oh, I accept your apology. If there's anything you want to talk about, I'm welcome to do it. Tasha as well. I don't like some shit you said. You never came back and said you under. At least she, Miss Listen, came back and said, hey, this is what's up. This is how I feel. People was coming for me. I just don't get the point where I still mean that. Or you was wrong. I'm sorry you felt that I was wrong. But I don't. I feel like if somebody called your brother a bitch. And let's get this understood too. I've never put their business out there. I said say what you want to say about him. But leave my family out of it. When she said this. This girl had already talked about my kids. My son. I came in talking about her being cut. That's what I was talking about. So we didn't went from her being cut to all of a sudden, this girl is on the bathroom floor saying, I like her, my sister like her, my son like her, my other sister like her. Like now everybody, like, come on y'all, please. I don't want any YouTube drama, okay? I'm good. I'm not looking for clout. I'm good, you know? I just want to say that. I hope that clarified everything. I hope you guys get it. Have a good night. Oh, yeah, because I'll be back. Because I, I want to touch something else, too. Just to let you know, y'all wanted some content. We can do the family stuff. But at the end of the day, while I'm feeling like it and I'm in my feelings and I want to do this, let's touch this a little bit. And like I said, you're welcome if you want to woman a woman up. Okay. Tasha, too, if you see that. I just feel like, okay, she lies and everybody lies. Oh, she said this. Okay. Well, one time you was me. One time you was Miss Listen. One time you was Kayla. What 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 she do to you? One time you was us. So what everybody need to understand is it's okay that you like somebody, that you vibing with them, and that you feeling with them, feeling them. But when you watch people for so long, you start to really see who they are, like me. And it push you away. Yeah, that's on the next video. Because I really feel like while I'm on my grown woman shit, we need to touch that too. So, after I post this, I'm going to be sitting right here telling you about how I feel about the BS. I'll be back. Y'all have a blessed one.